Hey, what's up? This is Cheshire from Cheshire Plays. Say hey, everyone, we're gonna have a quick look at a Greninja GX deck. Uh, this is something I've been working on. I, um, I'm still trying to get it to work better than it does. It works fine. It's, it's incredibly slow. It's not like the old Turbo Greninja Damage Spread deck that we used to have. So, let's go through some of our awesome cards. We are running for Zorua, the promo one of course, comes with its evolution, which is for Zurak GX. Uh, mostly here we can use trade. We're not going to be... The, the funny thing about this deck is it, it doesn't really need to attack that much. You will attack with Riders beating now and again, but mostly in here it's to trade so that we can just kind of dig through our deck really, really quickly. That Pokemon ability is actually extremely strong. Speaking of Pokemon abilities, of course, we're running two Tapo Lele. Tapu Lele, I know, don't get me started. GX, uh, and it's mostly, again, for Wonder Tag and not for the attack. Uh, we may use Energy Drive now and again, but again, mostly we're just going to go and get ourselves some supporters with Wonder Tag, which is wonderful. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We are running a 4-3-3 line of Froki, the new Frogadier, uh, with Gale Shuriken, because uh, this is all about ninja stars, right? So, uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't worry about Water Drip. That's that's like the worst attack I think I've ever seen on a Frogadier. Probably. <laughs> Pretty much. Speaking of Froggies, we have Shuriken Flurry on our Green Ninja GX. Now, the HP of this Pokemon is massive! 230 is actually pretty darn tootin'. Uh, so when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Again, more damage spread, and we could actually probably uh, at some point make this more of a damage spread kind of deck, but I'm just trying it out at the moment as more of a uh, setting up for kills kind of deck. Uh, of course, Greninja GX does have Haze Slash for one water and two colors. You may shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck for 110. Now, that amount of damage is nothing to sneeze at. It's, it's fine. Mostly, you're going to be using that to save your Greninja, shuffle it back into your deck so you can keep evolving and keep laying down damage counters. That's pretty slick. We do have Shadowy Hunter GX for the same amount. One water energy and two colors. This attack does 130 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemons. Yeah. So that's a thing. You can like lay some damage out onto one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and then knock it out. Uh, which can be particularly helpful against big, beefy GX Pokemon. So that is something we probably want to take into account. We are playing one Diamond Volcanion. It has Jet Geyser, so once during your turn before you attack, you can discard a Water Energy card from your hand, and if you do, your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their benched Pokemon. Uh, it's cool. I'm just trying it out. I do like it. It, it, it's good so that you don't have to switch your Pokemon out, uh, or you can use it yeah, as an effect to switch your Pokemon out when you're using it with um, Guzma, of course, our, our good old mate Guzma. Which is funny, actually, I only finally just played through the newest game on the uh, 3DS, and uh, finding out that Guzma is like the really horrible, rappy, punky, bad guy turned good guy by the end. Spoilers! really, really terrible. Anyway, we have Swarner Blast, which is, this attack does 20 more damage, sorry, does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, mm, I'm not sold on this being 3 blue to use, and I don't know how often we'll actually use Volcanion to attack, if at all, but the options there, should we require it, what we will be using a lot is Aqua Patch. Good old Aqua Patch. Attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your benched water Pokemon. Again, benched water Pokemon makes it really good. Can chuck it all in the Volcanion if you want. Get your Volcanion active at some point. But uh, that's really up to you. Again, we're not running a whole heap of water Pokemon. So it should be kind of useful. Maybe if you have this in the wings. But uh, I, don't, I don't know how we're going to do with this. But we're certainly going to try it. 
We're running one field blower. This is mostly just because Shrine of Punishment is a thing, and it's really horrible, and I feel like we actually need to play two field blower. I think if you're playing GX decks, you actually want to play more than one field blower. Some people are still playing zero. Why are you doing that? You are punishing yourself. That's not good. Speaking of things that I'm kind of on the fence about, we've got order pad. Flip a coin, if had, search your deck for an item card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Uh, it's a 50-50 chance to get an item. It seems alright. It's been going okay. Uh, at the times where I really needed it, it's let me down. <laughs> we have a pow pad to get two supporter cards from your discard pile and shuffle them back into your deck. You do run through supporters and other cards really quickly in this deck, mostly because you're discarding so much stuff to your Zorak GX with trade. You know, discarding a card and then drawing two card is great, but at the same time it's a little bit, mm, that's a bit iffy. Speaking of things getting back, we've got red juice, bleh, Rescue Stretcher. Choose one, put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or shuffle three Pokemon cards from your discard pile into your deck. It's a great modal card. Timer Ball does alright. Uh, we are running two Timer Balls. Flip two coins for each heads, search your deck for an evolution Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Uh, we don't have Evo Soda in the format anymore, so there's no quick evolution of Frogadiers and uh, Greninja GX. So we're going to use this to at least hunt down the evolutions. The same with our four Ultra Balls. Of course, you should already know what this does. Discard two cards, go looking through your deck for any Pokemon, put it into your hand. Good for clearing out useless stuff in your hand. It's fine. Brooklet Hill is good though. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic water or fighting Pokemon and put it onto their bench and then shuffle their deck. We're running two Brooklet Hill. Uh, it's really good for getting basics out and for setting up Greninjas and stuff like that uh, for later turns. And obviously Frogadiers. Running four Cynthia. Shuffle your hand into your deck, draw six. Pretty good, so much better than N was in a way, but it's so much more terrible because it doesn't force your opponent to reach off with their hand. We are running three Guzma. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. If you do, switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. So again, good for switching out your Greninjas if you need to, to get some energy onto them before you switch them back in and then start pummeling people into the face. We are running one Judge. Uh, there was a reason to run this, and I don't exactly remember what the reason was, but each player shuffles their hand into his or her deck and then draws four cards. Can be devastating in the first couple of turns on an opponent, that's for sure. Running two Lily at this point, um, although to be honest, eh, she's not that great. Draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. If it's your first turn, draw eight cards instead. Pretty standard. Because we are running Zurak, we are also running Mallow. Search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, put those on top in any order. Because then what you do is you just discard a card to your Zorak for trade, and then draw those cards. So, it's a tutor for two cards. Sounds legacy busted. We are running three choice band. Uh, the attacks of the Pokemon that this is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon GX or EX. EX doesn't matter, it's just the GX we need to look at because EXs are gone. Running four double colorless energy because double colorless makes our deck work, and four water energy, which I feel like isn't actually enough. Like eight energy in here is fine, but there's been times where I'm like, I just I just want to draw more water energy, and it's like, no, nah, it's in your discard pile, sorry. Or you know, it's gone, you've used it on something. So, probably try not to discard your water energies. Alright, let's step in for summer matches and see how we can do. Now we're on a fresh new ladder, with the top of the ladder being a Bridget. Yeah, that's, that's kind of boring. And the boosters are all boring, because it's all breakthrough, which is uh, great. Oh, break point. But I, none of them are legal, so that's great. TPCI, thanks. That's gonna incentivize me to play the whole season. Probably not. If it was standard boosters, yeah, definitely. Because that's what you want to see, especially with free to play game.
I hope everyone is good. All right, so we're up against a psychic deck. It's probably going to be some sort of Melomar variant. Uh, let's go for heads. No, Plasma Queen, you have failed me. Oliver Queen, you have failed this game of Pokemon. Okay, ducky. There we go. We have basics. We are all good. Uh, well, I mean, sort of. So I guess we'll put out Zora and Volcanion. It's a shame that we didn't get any of our folks. Where are your folks? Oh. A Recorio. Vital Dance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench. Meh, meh. Two basic energy cards. Reveal them, put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. Huh. Oh, it's a Trubbish deck. Okay. Melma Trubbish, maybe? No, I doubt it. We'll see what we can do. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't know what to do. Uh, I guess we'll just attach and pass. This is a really bad hand for us. This is the problem with N not being in the format. Your opponent doesn't reset your hand for you. It's the biggest oops, I don't know. It's just real big. Ooh, this, this, this. Nah, this is not good. This is not good. We didn't even get. An evolution for it. Uh, okay, so I mean, you can stomp off. I'm not so worried about that. I'm worried if you evolve, you'll be able to do more damage than I want you to do. I also can't Guzma because that will bring this up. What we really need to do is draw an extra water energy. So instead, we're just going to ram. Haha! -ha! First blood, take that! Evil door. Cynthia, sure. I wish I had a Cynthia right now. A Cynthia right now would be... Uh, it'd be so good. It'd be so good. Ultra Ball me. No. Actually, I'd even go... I'd so go for an Ultra Ball right now. Definitely. 120%. Alright. Uh, still not good. Uh, <laughs> we still haven't drawn anything that helps. Okay, let's let's just, I guess, ram you again. Uh, what does this attack do? Casual slap. <laughs> it does 30 damage, that's all it does. Okay. But that's enough energy to retreat. And this is now big. It's now a big boy. Oh, that, that's not good. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Alright, we, we got this. Oh, there's a judge. Uh, yeah, we're aware that's going to happen, sure. Now, it does unfortunately mean that we give our opponent cards as well, but um, I think right now we're okay with that. And I think I am going to Ultra Ball pitching as much as I don't want to double Colors and Lily, maybe, because this actually gets back supporters. Oh, that feels bad. 
Yeah, we'll go down a double colors. That's fine. Uh, and we will grab wap 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 wa, Tron. I mean Zorak. Yeah, let's Zorak it up. Let's get our beat on. Yeah, take that 40 damage because we don't have much of a bench Pokemon in play, which we really need. <laughs> It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're doing okay. We're doing fine. Here we go. What's going to happen here? Stomp off? Are you going to stomp me? Somebody stomp me! I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, okay. So they're, they're now going for Cosmoem? What was the... Jeez, what was the... um? I can't remember what it evolved from. Okay, uh, let's... I want a Power Pad, but I don't want to discard the Double Colors to trade. Alright, let's get rid of the Power Pad. It's a sad, sad day. Well, that's a basic Pokemon, I guess. Means we do slightly more damage. Still not enough to knock out our opponent's Pokemon. This is doing real well, isn't it? This has been the problem with Standard right now. It's just not... It's not terribly consistent with the current supporter lines that we have. It's actually kind of hard to, uh, to do stuff. Well, I guess at least maybe we'll get we'll get a knockout here, right? I mean, that's I don't like the fact that we're losing all these items. Uh, that makes me incredibly nervous. Uh, the reason being is because of this guy back here. So Garbodor has Trash Lanch, which does twenty times uh, the amount of damage, twenty damage for each item in my discard pile. So we want to super avoid getting crunched out. What? This is always a good start. Okay, smack, smack, smack. Double colors down here. We got some double colors that's out. Let's take a prize. Yeah, better than nothing. This guy's going to come out and play, right? I mean, the good thing about this deck is that our GX Pokemon, generally speaking, have pretty high HP. So... It's not so terrible that we have to really panic, uh, which is nice. Because panicking is definitely not something we want to do. Joshua! Love how I just clicked into your discard pile expecting to see what it was in it. What? Is there an app for that? Because if there's an app for that, tell me. Oh no! Ah! Our opponent might know our tech. <laughs> that poor little froggy. That's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do here... Ooh, we do have a Lele. No, we don't want to use a Lele. Let's Mallow. Uh, we want to get two Frokies. We're going to maximize our Frokiness. Trade. We're going to trade the Tapu Lele here because we don't, we don't really need it. Because while we've got a trader out, we can just like trade cards away and draw cards. Uh, we are going to smack it in the face. There goes your big beater. Bye bye. There isn't, there needs to be. I agree, somebody needs to do that. As you might see, I'm, I'm trying out a Greninja GX deck. Greninja is one of my, one of my fave Pokemans. Look at this big boy here. He's getting all charged up. I can't remember what evolves. <clears throat> I know one of them is Solgaleo, but what was the other one? Lunala? It's N Lunala. But what did Lunala do? Why, why would somebody be playing Lunala? What's the point? Okay, let's get another trader up. Uh, we're going to Cynthia here, though, instead of trading first. Alright, that's, that's not exactly what we wanted. 
but uh, we're going to chuck... Uh, you know what, we could actually just... Let's do the right thing, and we will discard the water energy <laughs> before we get gutsy. Do I get to choose, or do you get to choose? Opponent gets to choose. No! What was the point of playing you, Volcanion? You have let me down. Okay, well at least we can trade a lot, so... Let's trade a Greninja GX. Okay, let's trade Tapu Lele. Sweet. Then we can Aqua Patch. Thank you, Water Energy. Uh, probably onto the Froki. We can... Ooh, I don't think I want to DC onto the, the Froki just in case. Let's time a ball, though. Jigglypuff never got a GX. I'm hoping for a tag team. I haven't looked at the spoilers for that yet. I'm also hoping that we see some sort of tag team Jigglypuff, because I think that would be very cute and very fun. What are we going to blast here? Uh, I think we're going to blast the Cosmome just in case. Because we don't know what this Cosmome's actually going to do. Uh, so we've only got one Greninja GX in a discard pile at the moment. So that's fine. I almost feel like wasting a DCE here, but I'm not going to. Let's... Let's just ride a speeding. Let's bring out the inevitable. Let's see what our opponent's going to do here. Because if they do have a way to somehow knock out our Zorak for like 200 damage, I'd be damn well surprised. Tag Team Pokemon sound like an interesting thing. I haven't actually looked at them yet. I haven't looked at what they actually do yet. People hassling me to play PUBG. It's like, oh, I play Pokemon. Okay. 40 damage times the amount of psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. That's pretty good. Wings of the Moon, 130, move all energy from this Pokemon to your benched Pokemon in any way. Sounds alright. Let's start blasting you though. Ish. We'll draw the 30 damage back here, thank you. Uh, let's then... I think... Hmm. Actually, I think what we do is we trade the item, because the item is useless against our opponent's deck. They're not running any GX. Okay. Water energy is not bad. Um, bring up the Lilana. So we only have to hit it for, what, 110? So we can kill it now, which is great. Let's just do that. Oh, that setup! What were you doing? Oh, it's got weakness. Ha! <laughs> Oh, that's set up and our opponent got nowhere with it. That's fine by me. Tag teams who are way off. I, I thought they were in the next set. Better be evolving into Segalea soon, otherwise it's a Trashamon. No, it's a Trashamon. This, this, we look like we're playing against a Trashamon deck. A uh, budget Trashamon deck. Which is fine. Uh, we want to get... This. Very much so. Yay, we got a heads. Whoop. Frogadier. It just feels like it's, you know, <laughs> it's not really doing much now. Uh, I guess we're going to put the damage probably on your layer. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter, because I'm just going to switch this guy up here and knock it out anyway. With style. It's a you may remember, so we're going to say no, we don't want to. We could shuffle it all back in, but uh, no, we don't need to. I already follow you on Twitter. Yeah, well the bot is there to remind other people who might not be. Maybe they'll saunter in here and they'll be like, hey, this dude's real cool. I should follow him on Twitter, at Cheshire Plays. Hashtag free plug. How big are you? You're just 90, so I can just knock you out then, right? Yay, that felt very underwhelming. Uh, no. 
do you want to shuffle this Pokemon back into your deck after you've just knocked out your opponent's last Pokemon? Um, maybe I should have just chosen yes. You lad are disappointing. All the booster packs are from like an old, old set that I've opened a lot of. Though it does have Jolteon EX. Uh, not that I deem it really worthy of trying to go all the way for. And uh, Bridget is extremely good in previous standard. But now that we're in this standard, it's just like not legal. Tag teams aren't... In the next set. Also, it's fascinating to see Japanese tournaments. They had a 1,200 person one with the next set already in it. Uh, yeah, so Japanese tournaments are generally ahead of the rest of the world. Um, actually, my original um, Plasma deck was a Japanese deck, uh, which is actually quite funny because it's quite a good deck, or it was, uh, which is the uh, Lugia deck. So, I used to use the Japanese sites for all of my competitive decks. Um, so, I had to try, to try to get a handle on formats and stuff before uh, most English-speaking people actually realized what was going on. So, I, I did a regional top four using uh, Plasma Thun, which is the Thundaris uh, Deoxys EX Plasma deck. So good. Uh, that was before they changed the rule on... Let's see, on Pokemon Catcher, and the retreating multiple times in a turn was fine. So, it's a broken deck. It was so good. But I, I'm always looking for the different decks that are just like, that smidge different, but now everyone's catching on that the Japanese sites are the ones to go to for looking for awesome new decks, and I'm like, ah, my tech, my tech. It's just like the off-the-cuff uh, Gyarados deck, the Gyarados uh, Mega Evolution deck, was... It wasn't extremely popular, but uh, it was something that, like, was played in one of the big Japan tournaments and did really well because nobody expected it because the metagame had nowhere to deal with it. And then by the time it came to English, now everyone knew and they were like, yeah, I'm ready for this. Your Pokemons, show them to me. They're in the field. What's it like being a normal human? Like, going to tournaments and stuff? It has to be a lot of fun. Um, I don't go to that many Pokemon tournaments anymore. I think the last one I went to was uh, Australian Nationals... Not last year, but the year before? Or maybe it was last year. Hmm... I was playing Alakazam EX Mega Alakazam spread. And uh, it just did not did not draw well in my matches, so I left in like day one. But it was free for us to play at that time, um, and I had friends in Nintendo who really, 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 really wanted me to be there. So I popped me in. It was nice, but uh, it is it is always nice. It's always fun going to tournaments. I love tournaments. I do love being a normal human. I know that sounds weird. Um, I, I try as much as I can to be a normal human, and I know that that is extremely weird. What are we going to do here? Um, I don't want to pitch the Zorak, because then I have to use this to get it back. Uh, and we're playing against another Travelanche, another Trashalanche deck. I guess we get rid of the energy, because it's fine. I mean, we're only playing four and four, though, so I feel like discarding energy also makes me feel bad. Alright, let's get rid of Guzma, and let's get rid of the Stretcher. I'm going to regret that later. And let's grab us another Froki and start trying to set ourselves up. And then I guess we'll just put this on a Froki for now. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Regionals events, at least in America, aren't mainly dominated by the juniors or senior divisions anymore. Masters divisions are almost run pre-sized now. I heard that and damn, that sounds cool. Uh, King of Engineers says, I'd be scared to go to an event with a lot of kids. Kids are fine. Um, I'm, I'm an old man. I actually have a kid. And trust me, they're not as scary as it sounds. Oh, you know, I did not, I did not think of this. I did not think of this very well at all. Okay, we're just going to have to, we're going to have to trade. Should have kept this 
in hand and traded that instead. Uh, looks like it it's panned out okay though. Come on, double color synergy. Yes. Okay. Um. Timer ball, go. Heads, tails. Okay. Well, we got one heads. That's fine. Froggy. Uh, where are we going to put this damage though? I feel like the damage needs to go here. Uh, you're only 70. I can kill you already, right? You don't have any resistance, so I can do 2, 4, 6, 8. That's 20 times they give you Pokemon to play. So let's dump you and put the damage probably on the size. I probably actually should have been going for the, the Delmise. Del, Delmise. But that's fine. Uh, let's do the order pad again. Yes. Let's go and get ourselves, I guess, a ball, right? I mean, we don't really care about this right now. Yeah, boo. Uh, I think we just attack then. Just go and beat you? Just beat you into face. Thanks. It's more I don't want to be seen as an old man with questionable motives to, to be around a lot of kids. Uh, I'm 40 and most of my Pokemon friends are in their 20s. So, yeah. Yes, where are we going to put this damage though? Uh, we could put it here, but I think now we will go for the Delmice just in case. Uh, water energy. I don't think we actually want this water energy down right now. I do think we want a power pad. Uh, we'll get back a Guzma and probably the Mellow because the Mellow is fantastic. Um, water energy. I want to wait and do a double colors. Let's trade the Tapu Lele because we don't need it. I guess what we do need is basics. Um, I'm just going to use this now. Now you... Yes. And then we'll Lily to draw up. There we go. And I'm actually going to discover double colors. I bring out my Greninja. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I smack you in the face for lots. Yes, I will. Uh, no, we don't want to shuffle it back. Damn, yeah, I'm an old man. People don't realize because I don't look 40. <laughs> Most people think I'm in my 30s or like early 30s, which is nice. That's it's pleasant. It is it is very nice, very nice indeed. Oh, you switched out. That's a that's a damn crying shame. That is. Uh, let's trade our shiny water energy for two cards. Sweet. Uh, yes. Uh, I guess we'll put the damage back here, actually. Um, um, um... Aqua Patch. Get that water energy back. Put another water energy down. Now, here's the funny thing, because our opponent retreated, and I think they forgot that we can just smash their bench, which I totally forgot as well, so... Bye bye, you've got no hand, you've got a basic Pokemon left that can't do anything to me. I'm feeling pretty good about this matchup right now. Yeah. So wing. Hey, it's a Crimson Invasion booster. <laughs> Thought I was younger than you. <laughs> now you know my evil plan. Uh, I'm like Captain America, except I wasn't frozen in ice. <laughs> All right, let's go again. That was, what, match two? I mean, we won the first game, we won the second game. So this deck, as I was saying, is a little slow for my liking. Uh, it needs a little bit of work or something. I think it just needs the next set to come out to be slightly better. I don't know what's in the next set. Um, I know that in Dragon's Majesty, there was some items for water Pokemon, um, but the only way to get those boosters is by physically buying boosters or the codes. 
And uh, let's face it, I'd rather FTP this game at this point. I've bought enough in this game so that I had standard stuff to show off to people. Um, that's as far as I really want to go right now. Will I be seeing you at the Magic event? Uh, yes, you will. On Monday, the VIP event? Absolutely. Um, I'm pretty sure we can talk about that one and not anything else that might be coming up. Uh, but yes, uh, you will definitely see me at that VIP event. Thanks very much to Wizards and Double Jump, of course. Uh, they will be having me at a Magic VIP event for um, Guilds of Ravnica, so I'm going to get my hands on some Grun before most of the world because uh, Australia lucked out and we got something very cool. Is Wednesday? No, it's Monday, isn't it? 24th. Yeah, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Maybe I should have a look at my emails just to make sure. Because I thought it was the Monday. Because the Monday is uh, when I usually am supposed to stream, but now I'm moving it to Tuesdays. Was thinking Sydney. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sydney's Sydney's Wednesday. We're Monday. So we get it even before Sydney. ha da! Ooh, this doesn't look good. Uh, Guzzlord GX. I've played against one of these before. They're horrible. Okay, so Tyrannical Hole for 180 damage. Glutton for 100. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, take two more prize cards. Ugh, gross! Oh, Okay. How are we going to beat this? How are we going to beat this? Um, I guess the first thing we want to do is put two damage counters on it, because that's hilarious. Then we'll use Volcanion's Jet Geyser, discard the water energy and make our opponent switch. Switch for me. Do you bleed? You will. Oh, two heads. Better than one. <laughs> I'm terrible. All right, great. <laughs> uh, let's go and grab ourselves uh, yet another froggy. Uh, we will chuck down our frogadier. Yes, chuck some damage cannons on the one that's damaged. Thank you, so it's easy to kill. Speaking of easy to kill, evolve you, double colors on you. Uh, I think we'll trade away our last Brooklet Hill that we don't need now, because we've got a heap of these boys here. Yeah, it looks alright. Let's go and grab that water energy that we discarded before. See, this is when this deck becomes more of like the, uh, the legacy combo deck that you would expect in Magic. Melbourne better than Sydney? Mm, yes and no. It's cheaper to live here. <laughs> but, uh, less game company is here, unfortunately. I think we're sitting pretty this time. Um, I'm really scared of Guzzlord. Every time I've faced a Guzzlord deck, I've just not been able to beat them. Like, that 180 damage is massive, but I guess I haven't thought about the fact that I'm using Pokemon with, like, 210 HP, 230 HP when it evolves in its GX form. I think we should be fine. That makes me a bit more nervous. Attacks of Dark and Dragon Pokemon, you both yours and your opponents, do 10 more damage. Um, Dark Pokemon. All right, okay, thank you, bye. Double colors. Um, you know what? Let's trade an Ultra Ball. Bam, bam. Sweet. Uh, I kind of want to trade again, although I know that we can't. So let's Cynthia. All right, we've got a greening Greninja. Yes, we want to do the damage back here, thank you. Soften it up for that blow. Uh, what else do we want to do here? I think we want to strip... Actually, I do want to strip the Devoured Field. And... What is that, anyway? That does an energy thing. Wishful Baton. The Pokemon this is there. This card is attached to as your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from your opponent's attack. Move three basic energy to one of your bench Pokemon. Yeah, that can go away. Let's make you a bit more sad. Um, how much damage are we doing, actually? We need to do 110, uh, and we're doing the extra because of Choice Band. We should be fine, actually, yep. Smash! 
take that, you meanie. That'll teach you. I swears. So the great thing here is our opponent can currently not knock us out. They can't knock us out currently. However, if they get a choice band onto their Guzzlord, the Guzzlord's going to guzzle us up because that'll be exactly 210 and we will die. I don't know if our opponent's going to be able to do that. I don't think the Guzzlord deck runs choice band because of Guzzlord's massive attack. I believe that the deck just kind of doesn't bother because it's like, meh, I'm all good. But uh, Guzzlord can knock you out in two hits. Like, quite literally, can just decimate your game. Like, that, that GX ability is amazing. Glutton GX. Just huge. Yeah, so I'm going to, like, hit you for 100, and because I knocked out your GX, I'm actually going to take four prizes <laughs> instead of two. Uh, they were my last four prizes. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I'll be here all day. Interesting. You've put out this Guzzlord instead for some reason. I wonder what you are planning. Probably just don't want this one to be knocked out just yet. How are you going to protect it? You've got all the dark energy on this one. Come on, opponent. You can do it. You can do it. Anything your heart desires can be yours. All you need to do is find a way to strip all of my energy from all my Pokemon. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I should probably have put a choice band on this one as well. Did we? No, we didn't. Okay, cool. But we might have discarded one for some reason. Ah, there's an unstacked view. I forgot about that. Hey, look at that. We actually beat a Guzzlord deck. That's three for three, yo. Running hot. But, uh, we got the golds, yo. Let's go for a fourth. Let's do it. Let's call Tails. The coin let us down when we tried heads before. <laughs> hey, look at that. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, yeah, well, okay, mm, that's not ideal, but sure. Yes, this is really not an ideal hand at all. Uh, this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun, it'll be fine. Ah, oh, this is not going to be fine. Okay, this is the, um, the Garchomp deck. So it uses uh, Royal Blades to do 200 damage every time it attacks. Uh, it uses Cynthia to redraw its hand. And it uses uh, Lucaria ability to draw what it wants from its deck. So it can always draw a Cynthia. Uh, and it can always basically knock out your Pokemon. So this might be uh, an extremely fast game, unfortunately. But we will, we will see. Maybe we can overcome the tyrannical horribleness that is uh, this particular deck. Now that around GX or EX, so we're not going to play this choice band. We don't need to at all. Uh, we will keep that choice band back so that we can discard it to our Zorak GX. You know, we might actually... There is a chance, if our opponent doesn't get any more bench Pokemon, there's a chance we can... Damn it. End the game here, which isn't going to happen. Okay, that's fine. If we can keep our opponent's uh, Pokemon off energy, then we're fine. Then we're fine. So it means we have to kill this big boy somehow. Uh, 80 HP. Right. Let's put you down. Go with a DCE. Uh, we don't want to... Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Because we'll judge first. Okay. Let's time a ball. Come on, heads. Come on, heads. No. Okay. Uh, we will retreat you for Zurak. We'll then judge. So both players shuffle in their hands to draw four. Okay, so two, four, six. Let's order pad. Heads, 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 yes. What do we want from heads? We want... Oh, 
Damn. We've got no more balls in there that we can use. Um, think, Al. What are we going to do here to, to even the odds? I don't think we can do anything. Let's grab an Aqua Patch then. Uh, I'm just getting into Pokemon TCG and PTCGO. Is there an Oz community? Absolutely there is. There is a number of different Oz communities depending on where exactly you are. Um, but if you just search for Pokemon Australia, there is a heap of groups. I think there's like two or three different groups including a trade group uh, on the Facebooks. So definitely have a look for them. Oof, that was that's not the dude abide. great. Woo! The dude def definitely does abide. Thank you so much for the follow, Mash Brettato. Mash Brettato, is that right? I'm in Newcastle near Sydney. Ah, cool. Um, yeah. So I'd say just have a look on Facebook for the Australian groups. You'll you'll be able to find them very easily. Um, you know what, yeah, I could, okay, I was going to say we could just search for the Tapu Lele, but I think our opponent just went, oh, they can knock out my active. Alright, let's go for a five win streak, shall we? Oh, look at that. Oh, we got the box. What chest for us? Um, actually we should probably check, do we have any locked boosters that we should probably, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. <laughs> we should probably go and open these points we're getting for uh, consecutive wins. I didn't know it did that. What have we got to open? What have we got to open? Here we go. Crimson Invasion. That's locked. Let's open one of those. Brett at low. Right. Okay. A red just deal. Uh -huh, that's boring. Sometimes the rewards you get from this are just not worth it. It's uh, one thing I keep saying to people is like opening boosters not really worth your time. You're probably better off to just trade for stuff with your boosters. Don't be like me. Let's open a Shining Legends. Maybe we'll get a cool Mewtwo. What will it be? Will it be exciting or will it be trash? Geldio and. Uh, another kill the Yay, that's, um, that's great. That's terrific. That was really bad. Okay, let's play another match. So we're 4 for 4 at this point. We haven't dropped a single game with the Greninja GX deck, which is, again, as I was saying, surprising because it is... A deck that I feel is still a little bit slow and still needs a little a little something to make it faster to, to turbo it up a little bit uh, and I certainly have not found what that is going to be as yet but I am trying because I want to make this deck a thing that's not a bad hand that's actually not bad at all especially we're going first actually I like this this is fine these sleeves make me think that we're gonna be up against another one of those um, Garchomp's decks. Hopefully not. I really hate those decks. Once they get rolling, like, you just you just kill over. There's not much you can do. No, it's a wishy-washy deck? Were these... Just got a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh. What was the wishy-washy deck? Was that the stall deck? Damn, I don't remember. Okay, well, let's chuck you down. Um, I'm thinking we need a lily, so let's. I guess let's just tuck the water pog, the water cup there, water energy on Azura. Let's lily back to eight. Cool story. Nothing we actually needed. Damn it. Okay, that's done. What's the best way to get cards to build competitive deck in PTCGO? Uh, there's two ways. So you can grind, grind, grind like a madman. Uh, or you can go out and if you play the actual TCG, you'll get code cards in your actual boosters, surprisingly enough. As I was saying before, opening boosters on PTCGO, probably not the best move. The best thing you can do is to have a look for what you want as your deck and grind from there. So using 
physical boosters, you get the code out of the boosters entered into PTCGO in the store, and you will be able to uh, redeem it for an online booster, effectively. Then, what you do is you can then use that online booster to trade for cards that you need. Now, it'll probably take a couple, so if you're looking at trying to get the, uh, the new Rayquaza deck, it's expensive. It's very expensive because Rayquazas haven't been opened in force. Everyone wants that deck because it is such a good deck. Oh my goodness, it just killed my thing. This is not good. <laughs> this is the time we might lose it, people. We might lose it. Uh, what are we going to do here? Berg. Grab one of those things. We'll take that water energy, thank you. I don't think reducing down our opponent's hand size is going to matter. Let's chuck a DCE on the Froaks. And let Cynthia. Feels bad getting rid of those uh, Frogadiers, but luckily we drew one. Uh, let's... I don't think we need to kill the Brooklyn Hill, actually. I don't think we need to use the order pad right now. We could Jack Geyser and switch one of our opponent's Pokemon. One retreat cost. One retreat cost. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Let's do that. Seems to be always the foil energy, doesn't it? Force our opponent to switch. And then I guess we're just done. Um, yeah, so the best way to really do that is, is again, getting the code cards and going that way. Uh... Drosa, hosting the stream with a lot of viewers. Thank you very much, Drosa. That is that is quite good. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so I when I first started, I was playing competitively, so I had a whole bunch of code cards anyway. Um, that was all the way back in beta. <laughs> um, so I've been playing this for what six years or something crazy like that, seven years. But uh, it it's not as daunting as it sounds. You just have to focus on what actual boosters you want for your deck to make the deck what you want. Uh, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? Because our opponent's going to be healing like mad, aren't they? Uh, no, wish wish she does extra damage. Oh, you don't actually have the healer out. Okay, cool. So, I guess first off, let's Brooklet Hill. Thank you very much. Uh, then I guess we Frogadier... It's 70 or 30. So we don't want to kill these dudes off just yet. We'll do it on to the Tapu Finny. Wow, this is a really cool deck. I don't know what our opponent is playing here, and I've not tried anything like this, but uh, so far it's, it's doing quite well. Let's then order pad. Do we want to order pad here? Hmm. I feel like order padding here is actually a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Hey Drozo, what is up my pal? Thank you very much for that hostage with the mostage. What am I going to do? Alright, let's pitch a laze two. And we will go and grab a Zorua. We got this, it's okay, it's okay, we got this, we got this. We totally don't got this, actually. <laughs> um, hmm. I maybe should have thought of that, that a little bit better. Alright, let's dump our mellow. Oh boy. Okay, um. I guess what we want to do is put a Guzma and a Lily on top, maybe? Or a lily and a choice band, maybe? Because we're hoping that we'll draw into the GX. GX will nick us a prize here. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's put this double colors down on the Zora. Let's make a target just in case our opponent wants to. Is there a place to find deck lists? I like the new spread decks or Melamar. Um, there is. So... Uh, you can go to sixprices.com, but most of their articles, unfortunately, are, um, required subscription. Uh, you can go to the Charizard Lounge. So if you search Google for the Charizard's Lounge, you'll find some decks there. 
Um, you'll find some over at uh, Poke Goldfish, which is uh, the Magic the Gathering sister site for MTG Goldfish, Poke Goldfish. Um, you'll, you'll also find stuff over on my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Cheshire Place Games. You'll find Dark Integral Gaming on YouTube is pretty good as well. Uh, there's Rare Candy on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube, actually, you can search up a whole host of different content creators like myself who do deck lists and such. So you'll get lucky from there, usually. Uh, let's uh, level you. I know, evolving. I'm still stuck in DBZ mode. Uh, okay, this is good. This is good. Let's grab our Greninja. Pop you down. Because if you get to steal a prize, I get to steal a prize. That actually went so much more smoother than I thought it would be. Uh, let's chuck that there. Um, hmm. I guess we'll time a ball again. And we want to grab a frog a deer. Can't hit you for 210, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, get another Froakie onto our board. Evolve our Frogadier. Oh, into our Frogadier, I should say. Put two damage counters over on the Finny. Let's trade the water energy, because we've got more uh, Aqua Patches anyway. So, Aqua Patch. Uh, let's get that shiny. Water energy, because it's the pretty one. Alright, I think we're good there. We're done. Welcome back, Drosa. It's funny, you hosted just at a time when I was finally losing with this deck. I'm currently on like a 4 4 4 win streak. <laughs> and it's a deck I'm like, I just don't know if I really like it. I'm trying to like it, but I'm just not sure. <laughs> Come on, knock it out. Oh, what does that one do? Oh, you're still getting up there. Yeah, sure. What does that one do, though? Water gun. Torrential Vortex. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a secret rare aqua patch. How pretty is that? See, this is the thing with Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering's masterpieces could have been something like this. <laughs> like, they could have just been just a little bit more pretty, in my honest opinion. And they're not. And I don't know why. It makes no sense to me. Uh, okay, so let's take another prize for free. Yes, that one. Kapil, please, sir, uh, keep giving me the free prizes. I like them a lot. Uh, let's Cynthia. How are we? Uh, we we are good. Um, I, we are very sleepy because uh, I kind of maybe fell asleep before the stream. <laughs> So, like, I woke up 10 minutes before, 15 minutes before stream, just going, I need to get up, oh, I'm so tired. Let's chuck another water energy down on our Greninja GX. Uh, we'll then, ooh, ooh. See, that's why we were putting damage on this one. I forgot about that. We could have, ah, that's fine. Hey, slash 140, take it. Yes. Uh, no. Do we have to worry about this one? No, because you're only on three energy. You need five energy for these attacks. So I'm not that worried just yet. Although, if they double colorless, we could be in some serious trouble. Oh, starting to power this guy up again, huh? Struggle to find new decks as the format just changed. Um, yeah, well, uh, that's exactly it. Um, that's why I'm trying this Greninja GX deck. Uh, but there is, there's, there's different decks that you can try. It just depends on, you know, how, how expensive of a free to play deck you really want. Because the thing is, you can't, you can't cash out from this program. Like once you're cashed in, that's it. <laughs> there's no way to get your money back. So I usually say to people like, it's, it's, whoa, 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 no. Oh no. What, what was that? Tapu Storm. Shuffle your opponent's active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck. Oh, okay. Sure. 
actually that that wasn't as terrible as it could have been i was like freaking out but i think i'm fine with that uh what else you got in here nothing okay so we've got nothing for rescue stretcher so let's cynthia <laughs> if anything you just gave me excellent stuff um yes we want to deal the damage but what do we want to deal it to uh not to this probably to the wishy-washy i think uh attach that last water energy that we need aqua patch grab out another aqua energy or water energy touch it to the frogadier uh let's go and trade how many cards we got left in our deck 19 oh, that's plenty let's trade out a green ninja gx then draw two nothing we want uh we can't kill this with our 130 yet so we'll just haste slash for 110 what do you rather attacks uh no let's just got two water energy from this pokemon this attack does 120 damage to one of your opponent's pokemon yeah seems bad oh i guess they can knock this out actually that's pretty good I can knock out one of my Frokies. If they knock out a Zero, I don't care. You're on. We're both on equal prizes, so. What's the economy like in PTCG? Um. Interesting. Because the in game economy revolves only around booster packs, uh, it, it's a bit of a weird one. Because it's like. You're, you're constantly sitting there just going, like, well. What, what do I actually do with this? Uh, let's... Yeah, I think I do want to do this. Let's switch you out. Uh, and I'll switch in for... I kind of want to switch in for this, to be honest, just in case. Do we want to do that, though? Or do we want to go with a sure shot Zurak? I guess we go with the Zurak. We've got 16 cards left in deck. So, I'm going to try not to, to mill ourselves here. Um, but yeah, everything revolves around boosters, so, uh, some of the good GXs will cost you upwards of, like, 20 boosters, basically. Um, like these Tapu Leles, the base cost of one of these is, like, 20 Guardians boosters. Um, this version, I think, is somewhere around 50 or 40, 45, maybe. It can be kind of ridiculous, but it just depends on what you actually want from it. Uh, we are going to use this to put a Pokemon into our hand, which is going to be a Greninja GX. Damn straight. And I think here, I kind of want to keep taking free prizes, to be honest. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, double colors, that's what we like to see. Let's beat. Schmake. I mean the physical version. No idea on either. Um... Okay, so the TCG physical, uh, something like a Greninja GX, like this one here, will only cost you about eight bucks, um, and it's considered to be uh, like higher than a rare. Um, the promo tins are really good. This is from a promo tin. Um, they can be pretty good value. Things like this guy here going to cost you about thirty bucks for forty bucks a pop. So, it's pretty much on par with Magic, really, um, except mostly Uncommons, like Cynthia can generally cost about 5 bucks each, because they're used in every deck. So, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a weird one, to be honest. Okay, let's... I don't even need to retreat, really, but let's, let's retreat. And we are going to use our GX here. Uh, ooh, do we want to... I think we want to do this first. Okay. Shuffle in our hand. There's always a method to our madness. Uh, yes, we'll put the damage on your wishy-washy. Um, we'll put that on you. We'll use trade. And we'll pitch our Brooklet Hill that we no longer need. Then we'll use... I mean, we've got nine cards left. Okay. We can do this. It's fine. Uh, we'll discard our Ultra Ball and an Ultra Ball and Tapu Lele. 
seeing you on Monday. Everyone keeps asking me that. Yes, you'll see me on Monday, damn it. Oh, we don't have any more frogged ears. Oh, that's because we just played one? No. So we've got one in our prizes somewhere. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's use Shadowy Hunter. P -p 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 Thanks, buddy. One, two. And barring any unforeseen circumstances, we should be able to knock this out for free next turn and take out our fifth win in a row. Because this deck is actually surprisingly resilient and I like it. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, that's really not going to hinder as much. Trade four for four. That's fine. Mostly because we can trade. So, we've got eight cards left in our deck. We'll be able to dig four cards down and likely hit at least either something that'll get us another Greninja GX so that we can just kill this. Um, or something that will hopefully dig us further in to our deck. I mean, we could just, like, trade these two out or that and that and then judge. No, we got it. Five for five. That is fantastic. Ooh. Ah, that's very good. Um, so a couple of things that people might want to be wondering about is what are these promo event tickets for? I will show you in just a second. What are these P coin token things for? Well, you can go into the shop. And you can use those coins on different things, from gameplay items to actual starter decks. By the way, don't don't buy starter decks, they're all trash, <laughs> generally speaking. Some of them sometimes have some cards you want, uh, but you can spend your, your Pokemon points, your, your gold tokens, uh, on these boosters. Now, they are non-tradable boosters, so you can only open them. You can't trade them with anyone else, unfortunately. As for events... When you build up enough of your event tokens, and that's just from playing the game, you can enter into these events. So at the moment, there's standard expended theme. There's usually legacy and stuff as well, but something's been happening. I don't know what. Uh, and it costs you eight tickets to join. We're not going to join one right now. Um, but as you can see here, I I like to play them a lot. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I like to win a lot. So... <laughs> I'm one of those people. I definitely love uh, the competitive side of Pokemon, as well as the fun side. Uh, but on the Pokemon.com website, you can also uh, buy little avatar stuff with your, with your Poke points, which is pretty cool. Um, again, I've been playing this since beta, so um, I've been around a long time. And you can get all sorts of really cool items. Uh, these, particularly, are from... Their, their special boxes that they have. So, uh, buying their Elite Trainer Kits is actually worth it. You'll actually get stuff from their Elite Trainer Kits, which is real nice. But, um, yeah. that That is one of the things about this game that I actually really dig. Um, the fact that, you know, you can just grind for booster packs. You can trade for them. You can do so much cool stuff. Just to show you, uh, Tapu Lele GX. So, don't don't ever trade your Tapu Lele GX for like trash. But as you can see here, this is somebody asking for forty nine Celestial Storm booster packs for a base. Tapu Lele GX. It's not even one of the special ones. Um, because again, that's that's kind of how the in-game economy works, is that people are trying to get the best deals that they can. Um, always look around. Like, this is a pretty... I, I wish I had 29 Guardians boosters right now, because that's pretty good to get one of the, uh, the Rainbow Hollow Tapu Lele GX for only 29 of these boosters. Wow. <laughs> like, I, in a heartbeat. Here's 21 boosters, which you would never do for a base. Um, if I was this person, I'd be asking for more. 
old stuff from the old series uh, is is actually quite valuable as well. That's how the in-game economy works. So trade the rarest card for a common Pikachu. <laughs> you know, I even I have fallen for that trap uh, by accidentally hitting accept trade back in the old days when there was no like you just basically open the trade and hit it and it just did it straight away without actually asking confirmation. And it's just like, ah, damn. I think that was like a gold rush room, so it wasn't anything like too big, but uh, big enough to be quite annoying. Uh, you can also do the trainer challenge. This will actually be a good thing for newer players. You can open booster, uh, open decks with it. You can also get booster packs and stuff by completing the challenges all the way through. It'll also sometimes give you bonus stuff as well. I've completed all of these. But the main thing is that you can um, you can unlock certain decks that they've set up for you. Which generally have some of the building blocks of uh, the standard at the time. Going through the ladder, uh, you get points for battling through the ladder. Like we've done 5 games, we're up to 105, 105 points already. So we're already halfway through the first part of this ladder. It does go all the way up to 2000. Um, and it usually takes about 21 days. So that's something to take into account as well. But, I think that while we are here, uh, I think I think that's going to be it. I think next Tuesday, uh, we'll come back and do some more Pokemon, because that seems like a really cool thing to do. How about we go and we raid uh, my, my friend, Big Bad Kaiju, who uh, recently moved to... Melbourne. Um, Kaiju, yes, Kaiju, exactly. So let's go and raid Kaiju, uh, and I want everyone to spam their, their chat with Rah Monsters! Does it sound good? Can we do that? I think we can do that, yeah? Let's do that. As for me, thank you so much for hanging out. I've been Cheshire. Uh, you can go and follow me at youtube.com forward slash Cheshire Players Games or at Cheshire Plays on Twitter. Keep cracking packs, not for value, but for drafts. See you next Tuesday for some more Pokemon. I, I hope that doesn't get flagged.